Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 20th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Well, you probably have heard of the great Chinese firewall and its ability to block certain keywords for users within China. Occasionally, you hear suggestions that it's possible to, well, simply block mail connections with that, a lot of spam and also just simple scanning by returning some of these keywords to anybody connecting to your mail server. So this last couple of weeks, I ran a little experiment where I first basically left my mail server alone, then later uh, set up a mail server banner that included some of these keywords to see whether or not this will reduce the number of connections from China. Didn't look like it really made a difference. Uh, It went from 11% to 9% of the IP addresses connecting to the mail server were from China. This is really sort of within uh, the error of uh, the measurement. So I really think uh, that experiment has been somewhat inconclusive or if at all proving that uh, these simple keywords probably don't make enough of a difference. We'll leave it running for a while and uh, see if maybe over time there is a change, but looks like at least uh, just simply returning them as a banner doesn't make a difference. And well, um, also probably should try a couple different keywords because there is no real sort of official list of blocked uh, keywords. And the FBI released a public service announcement regarding a number of websites that are impersonating government assistance websites in an attempt to steal users' personal data. Essentially, phishing these websites are using some lookalike domain names. Usually, at least the list that the FBI published, they use the .xyc top-level domain. And well, then they are asking users for personal information under the pretense of signing up for some form of unemployment or other assistance. Given that October is the Cybersecurity Awareness Month, uh, this may make a good sort of a notice uh, to include in your awareness activities for this month. As we have seen uh, this sort of being an ongoing problem where websites like government websites are impersonated in order to steal personal data. In particular, Brad has been writing about the TA505 gang on our website quite a few times in the past. However, the last year it has been pretty quiet around uh, this particular gang that is known for sending large volumes of malicious spam. Well, Proofpoint is now reporting that TA505 is back with its usual tricks. They're still sending spam. They're still using Excel attachments, but the payloads, uh, the remote admin tools and the malware loaders that they're using, they have been updated. Also, they recently, in recent weeks, have been focusing on German language speakers with respective German language emails. The emails don't always include the Excel attachment directly. They also may include HTML files that then link uh, to the Excel file or just outright links uh, to various websites that will then offer the Excel file for the user to download. And of course, the user will have to enable macros. The Black Matter ransomware gang has made quite a bit of news recently. So uh, the FBI, NSA, together with uh, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, have published a bulletin with uh, some basic precautions that you should take in order to prevent infection from Black Matter. None of these tips are really sort of outrageous, new, a lot of good best practices that you hopefully are already implementing, but uh, makes a good change checklist uh, that you may want to consider taking a look at to make sure if there's anything that you can do to improve your posture. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.